Though Cleveland is enjoying job growth for the first time in decades, the city grapples with a mismatch between where jobs are and where those who most need jobs live. What I find difficult with public transportation is all of the jobs are further out. With the buses, they always have a way of being late, and there's only so many times you can be late at a job before you're fired. Hinsman is only a five-minute drive from downtown, yet decades of disinvestment have left it isolated. The area has become known as the Forgotten Triangle. It takes like two, three hours to get somewhere that takes someone to drive 30 minutes. If you factor in getting a child to and from childcare, that's an additional five hours in a 24-hour day. Making 850 an hour, working, you know, 40 hours, we know that that's not enough. The city's transit network is primarily focused on getting people to and from downtown. But for many Clevelanders, downtown is no longer where the jobs are. The Brookings Institution looked at the change in nearby jobs for residents in Cleveland over a 12-year period from 2000 to 2012. What they found is that for all residents of the city, the number of nearby jobs declined by 27% during that time period. When we talk about distance discrimination, the impact of that decline was even greater for low-income communities and communities of color in the region, where it was a 35% decline. Out of the 96 cities that the Brookings Institution studied for this report, Cleveland was the worst in terms of declining access to jobs. It's a problem faced by many post-industrial cities in the Midwest. As factories closed and the white middle class sprawled ever outward into the suburbs, they took with them the investment capital, new industries, and jobs. And while much of downtown Cleveland has rebounded in recent years, most of the new employment opportunities are only accessible to the highly educated. There's plenty of biosciences, biomedical jobs that are located in the core city of Cleveland, but those aren't necessarily jobs that somebody with an associate's degree can, can reasonably expect to hold. A new project is underway that planners hope will streamline commutes and spur economic development. Called Opportunity Corridor, the new boulevard will connect a West Side Highway with the booming economic hub of University Circle, traveling right through the middle of the Forgotten Triangle. The road is designed to serve dual purposes, to bring commuters more directly to work and to spur economic development in the neighborhoods along the route. The short-term solution to addressing and working on issues of job access is getting people to where jobs are located now. In the longer term, we need to think about policies and programs that we can put in place to help bring jobs closer to where people live. Frequent stoplights will ensure that traffic will flow at a deliberate urban pace. And new zoning will incentivize walkable developments. What we do on the land that flanks the corridor is going to mean as much as the investment in the roadway itself. The construction of the road and the anticipated development around it will create much needed job growth. Whether this will mean more jobs for the people of Kinsman is a giant question mark. You can't build this road and then not help the people that live in those neighborhoods get jobs. As we go forward, how do we plan and train them and recruit them and get them ready for what is to come? So for me, um, that's what I look forward to, you know, that's what I work toward every day. The challenges faced by people living in the Forgotten Triangle go beyond distance. Many grow up in an environment with systemic barriers to job opportunities. Other barriers is the education portion of it, the generational poverty. Having the education in order to be qualified for those jobs. We need to start with our youth. We need to start in the schools, especially in our schools, we need to develop them differently than suburban schools. We need to put more resources into exposure opportunities so that our youth start brewing and seeing what different opportunities they have. Kinsman also suffers high rates of incarceration. And though Cleveland has technically banned the checkbox to indicate a criminal record on job applications, workers who have done time still have difficulty finding meaningful employment due to stigma. The communities are stressed. The communities are deprived. The coping mechanism is sometimes it's a mechanism that puts them further back and make that access to the job that much further away for them. 
The Opportunity Corridor, scheduled to be completed in 2022, could be a step towards revitalizing a forgotten neighborhood. There is an opportunity to attract businesses to the community, but if the constituents of the community don't meet those qualifications for the positions, then it's the Opportunity Corridor, but not for the members of the community.